G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a delicious juicy turkey, either on the barbecue or on the oven. Now obviously the main focus of this video is to cook a delicious recipe, but my other main focus is to support a worthwhile charity which is Vinnie's here in New South Wales, Australia. But I encourage everyone around the world to please join in, because it really is a fantastic cause. And all you have to do to get involved is take a picture of a turkey leg or a turkey without a leg and hashtag a give a leg up to Facebook or Instagram. Now I'll leave all the details of this below in the description and also everyone here in Australia I'll also leave a phone number and the details on how to donate $5 just by sending a simple SMS to Vinnie's. And every dollar raised goes towards helping families with utilities, clothing, food hampers and toys for children. Especially this time of year, everyone needs a leg up. So please do me a massive favour and help me out with this worthwhile cause. Now we want to start this turkey recipe off by making a lovely stuffing which really does add to the flavour of the turkey. So to start off with I have a fry pan on a medium heat. So just drizzle on just a little bit of olive oil. Then to that I'm just going to add in one chopped up onion. And we're just going to cook this onion over the medium heat just for a couple of minutes to soften them up. Which will also help release that lovely onion flavour. Now that we've softened up the onion I'm going to add a couple of cloves of crushed garlic. And we're just going to cook that over this medium heat with the onions for a further minute which will also help bring out that lovely garlic flavour. And after a minute, just simply take the pan off the heat and we're going to put the onions and garlic aside while we get started on the rest. Now we've turned our fry pan back to the medium heat. So again, we're just going to drizzle on some olive oil. And to that I'm going to add three cups of breadcrumbs. And just cook it over the medium heat with the olive oil for about, say, five minutes. We want to get to the stage where they're just starting to brown. You can use breadcrumbs from the shops or you can make your own. It's very simple. These are the ones I've just made myself. And this is actually brown bread. I've just put it through a food processor until we got to this nice crummy breadcrumb stage. Okay, as you can see it is now browned up slightly. It's more of a golden brown and that's exactly how you want it. So I've just turned off the heat. So now we're just going to add a few more ingredients. First one being our onion and garlic mixture. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of parsley. Then two tablespoons of thyme, two tablespoons of sage, the zest of one lemon, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and season with some black pepper. And mix it through until it's all combined. And once it's combined, just let it sit by itself for say about 20 minutes just to give it a chance to cool down completely. And next we're going to use a turkey, fresh, frozen, it's up to you, sometimes it comes down to convenience. Now I'm just personally choosing the Steggles brand simply because they are also supporting the Give A Leg Up campaign. So I'm not being paid a single cent to do this. I'm just choosing to work with Steggles because they're also working with a worthwhile cause which is helping Vinnie's. Now I've taken our turkey out of the package and what I've done is I've rinsed it underwater. I've also removed any giblets that were inside the turkey which is basically like the long neck. And I've also patted the outside dry with paper towel as well as drying the inside with paper towel as well. So all we have to do now is just stuff the inside of our turkey with our stuffing mix. And of course, make sure you don't leave your watch inside. And we're just going to use some butcher string to tie up the legs and this will just prevent the stuffing from falling out during the cooking process. Now I've just placed our turkey into a roasting pan. So we're just going to drizzle over olive oil. Let's give it a nice covering of olive oil just on top. Let it run down the sides. Now you can use any flavour that you like, but just try and find a nice poultry rub that we can just sprinkle on top. But of course, any flavour will do, it just comes down to your liking, so you can always experiment. Next I'm going to place it onto the barbecue. Now you can do this on a barbecue or in the oven. There's not a lot of difference, apart from the fact that, honestly, on a barbecue it always tastes so much better. So once on the barbecue or the oven, we're going to cook it for about 3 hours, but that's just a guide only. Just keep in mind, the bigger the turkey, the longer it's going to take. And we want to aim for a temperature of say 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And this is on indirect heat. So no matter if you're using a coal, wood or gas type barbecue, you want to make sure it's on indirect heat. So it's not directly over any flames. But of course if it's in the oven then that's nothing you have to worry about. Now after 3 hours you want to use an internal probe. That's the best way to check if it's done. And you want to get it to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit or about 80 to 82 degrees Celsius. Now it's been about three and a half to four hours because this is a rather large turkey. As I said, it does depend on the size of the turkey. But I've just taken it off the barbecue 
brought it inside and it smells absolutely delicious. And look at that color, it is lovely and golden, a little dark where I put the seasoning, which means it's come out perfect and it smells fantastic. Now the secret to having a lovely moist turkey is make sure you let it rest for at least 20 minutes. That'll just give a chance for all the juices to work their way back through the meat. And what if you do, don't cover it. It's just going to moisten the skin so you won't have that lovely outer crispy skin that you love from a cooked turkey. Now once you've let it rest for at least 20 minutes, it's ready to carve up and it's going to be the best turkey you've ever had. And of course this isn't just a Christmas recipe, you can make this type of turkey any day of the year. But for right now, please do me a massive favour, I'll leave all the information down below on how you can help out a worthwhile cause from something as simple as hashtagging on your Instagram or Facebook, where every hashtag you post, a donation will be made on your behalf. And for everyone in Australia, you can go one step further by sending a text to the number listed below, so you can make a quick and easy $5 donation, which will go to needy families this Christmas. So for something that takes just a few seconds to do, it really is a worthwhile cause, and it'll put a smile on a kid this Christmas. So come time for their Christmas dinner, they're going to have some food that it's going to taste simply delish. So don't forget, I'll leave all the relevant information in the description of this video. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.